Okay, so Shed is uh, probably like my favorite card game to play. It's um, easy to learn, but, uh, fairly easy anyway. A um, couple of, well, it's not complicated rules, it's just that there's, uh, well, you see, when you get to the magic cards, it's just a case of like remembering which cards are magic and which ones do what things, um, but there's not actually that many. And once you know it, it's, it's easy to remember. And uh, so yeah, I like this game because it's um, it's tactical. There's there's tactics involved, but there's also some amount of luck. Uh, so that keeps it interesting. Uh, but then if you're good with your tactics, then you can counter the luck side of it to some extent. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna be playing with Jeff here using this card, uh, this pack of cards that I uh, have not actually opened yet from uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. Probably need to shuffle them because this is, this is the first time I've actually even opened this box. Ooh. What's that? Okay, so that's, that's stuff that you can buy. Nothing. To take out the jokers. The, uh, the albino and the rodent of unusual size. Oh, these are great. Anyway, we're not here to look at my um, fantastic deck of cards. We're here to... Uh... Oh, I'm using Mawage. Um, so, yeah, we're here to learn the game. Um, so, magic cards. Should I start with magic cards? So these are the, the uh, magic cards but in the game. I'm going to shuffle the rest of the deck while I'm waiting. Um, so basically the aim of the game is to be the first one to get rid of all the cards in your hand. Um, and you do that by... There'll be a pile in the middle and you place a card that beats it from your hand on top of that. Um, and that'll be... The, the most basic way to beat it is to use a card with a higher number or value. So well, like one of the royal cards will be high. Ace is the highest. Uh, but you can also play one of these magic cards at any time. So these, you can put these on anything. So, so, for, uh, so a 9 is a fairly high number, but you can still put a 2 on top of the 9, even though the 2 is a lower number, because the 2 is magic. Um, and what these do, the two basically reduces the pile back down to as if it was a two. So the two is the lowest number. So now you can put a three on top of the two, for, for example. It kind of resets the deck. The seven is the glass card, which basically means it's invisible. So if you put down a queen and you put the seven on top of the queen, that means the next player still has to beat the queen. The, yep, so the it's like the seven is invisible. The eight is, uh, is similar to the seven, it's the mirror card. So instead of, uh, so in this case, if, so, if, you, if someone puts a queen down, and then you put the eight down, it now, the, the, the direction of play changes. So if you were playing clockwise, it will now be going anti-clockwise. So basically, the person who played the queen has to beat their own queen. Um, we're only playing two player here, so the eight is functionally the same as the seven because it doesn't matter if you're going clockwise or anti-clockwise when there's two players. But if there's a third player, then the eight kind of has an extra um, aspect to it. And the ten is the uh, burning. Is there a name for it? It's the, it's the burn card. So that um, basically destroys the pile in the middle, you take it out of the game and it doesn't bother anyone anymore. Uh, there's, there's a second way to burn the deck, uh, burn the pile, is uh, if all four of the same cards are in the pile, so if there was four sixes in there, you burn that pile. If there's four jacks, you burn the pile. Um, and then if you're the person who burns the pile, you then get to go again. So that's a good way to get rid of a low card that you're struggling to get rid of, to burn the deck and then put down your three or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna put these 
back into it. I'm going to have a, a game with Jeff. Jeff and I are going to play together. So you can actually see a game in motion being set up and uh, played through. Because explaining it is um, not always that clear. It's, 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 it's really helpful to kind of see it in action. And then you should pick it up a lot quicker. So, especially the setup. The setup is kind of possibly the most complicated part. So you start with three face down cards. Now, we don't know what these are. These could be anything. You then put three face up. What's that? What is that? Is that another joker? I don't, I don't know. I didn't say what it is. I'm going to take that one out of the deck for now. Because <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay, so I've got a queen there. Ace. Okay. Jeff's doing alright there. Oh, I've got an ace too. Okay. He's got two aces. I've got a four. Okay, and then you deal out seven cards to each player. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. And now the, this is the, um, the, uh, I don't know what you call this, the deck, the pot. This is probably the deck and then there'll be a pile. So these are, these are for Jeff. These are for me. Put the deck in the middle. Now at this stage of the game, this is the only stage you can do this because you can't touch these cards on the table until you've got rid of the cards in your hand. Okay. Um, so at this stage, at the, the first part of the game, and no other part of the game can you do this, you can look at these three that are face up and see what do you think of these. Are these any good? So I've got an ace. Ace is the highest card. Queen's quite high, so that's good. The four, I don't really want that there because when I get to these cards, it'll be the end of the game, and probably a lot of other cards will be burned at that point. So it'll be really difficult to get rid of the four. Jeff's got uh, two aces and a five, so he's got a similar thing. Two very good ones of five there, he wants to get rid of that. So I'll, I'll have a look at what I've got. I've got a jack, so that's better than a four. A six, it's better than a four, it's not very good, but two threes, that's rubbish. And I've got two magic cards and another ace. So, um, So really, I could I could swap out the queen and put another ace in here. Now I'm on par with Jeff here, and I'd definitely take up the four. And it, then it's which which magic card do I think would be more useful at the end? I don't know. This would be maybe there's something being a pain at the end, and I want to get rid of it. This would be maybe they've got a good card, and I want to keep throwing it back at them. So maybe this, this is good to uh, hold on to. Um, but then looking at what's out here, there's a lot of aces and they're going to be impossible to beat. So maybe I'll put the burn card down and try to burn all the aces when it gets to it, which might backfire on myself, but it also gets rid of his. So, And then I've got a magic card to play with while I'm here. I could swap the magic card for the eight, one of my aces even. Um, but I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be happy with that. Uh, now, Jeff here, he's... Um, huge amount of space here. Jeff is probably going to need me to help him a little bit. So I'll put my good cards on one side and the bad cards on the other. So Jeff wants to get rid of that five. So what's he got? He's got a three. He's got an eight. He's got a two. Rubbish. Good. Good. So he's got a whole lot of magic cards. So let's say Jeff wants to... The two could be useful because they might because if we're having the aces out, we can't beat stuff. Putting the two down might make it easier because then he, he might have a four or a six or something that he's trying to get rid of and he can't get rid of it because he's just trying to beat aces all the time. So we can put the two down, um, and then he, he'll keep the aces. He'll keep the aces. Okay, so that's his um, cards. So here we've got the. Um, so you always have seven in your hand, you must always have seven in your hands. When you put one down, you pick up another one. If you put two down, which you can do, I've got two threes, they can both go down together. I'd pick up two more until this is depleted. Okay. Uh, the person who goes first is the is me, because I have the three of diamonds. If whoever has the three of diamonds always goes first. If you don't have a three of diamonds, it's one of the other threes. If no one has a three, 
then you go to the fours, if no one has a four, you go to the fives, and so on, until whoever's got the lowest card, they will go first. So I've got two threes, I put those down, and I take two. So I've done well there, I've got a couple more magic cards. So Jeff can respond with, he'll probably put his own three down, and then take another magic card. Then I will put down my four. You, threes, four. You just want to get rid of these basically. You just want to get rid of them. They're never any use to you. They're never going to help you. King in it down. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, I should put that up. So Jeff. Can, Jeff is also going to get rid of these four. And replace it with Jack. Fed it. I have a six. I don't want. Pick up a five, so I'm in a worse position. And so now he, the six that he'd want to get rid of the five, we can't do that. Uh, I guess you want to hold on to the magic cards because again, you can put them on anything. So they, these are kind of like use them when they're tactically useful. Don't waste these. The jack's reasonably high, so let's we'll get rid of the nine. Replace it with another nine, so he's in the same place. Now me, I've got some magic, so I want to keep that. I'll put down my six-fingered man. Replace it with uh, uh Um Oh, here we go. So he's I, I put down the jack. He's got the jack. So you can actually put the same thing down. So it's either got to be the same or higher. Uh, and here's an interesting... In an in, in advanced rule, he couldn't do this because I placed a, uh, a spade. He's got a diamond, and diamonds are lower than spades. So if we were playing advanced rules, this move wouldn't work. But because we're playing basic rules, it's just it's the same. It doesn't matter. Uh, did, I, did I pick him up an extra one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now he needs one more. Another nine. Okay. Um, so there's a jack down. I'm going to put down my queen, my my booing lady. Then uh, take a six, that's no fun. He's got... Okay, so now we're getting to a situation. His normal cards are lower, he's gonna have to use something magic. So what he could do, his options are bounce it back on me with one of these, or just destroy the pile. Um, now it's up to you what you do. I think I would bounce it back just picks up Queen Buttercup, so that puts him in a better position. Um, he's bounced it back to me. I've got two kings that I can put down together. You don't have to put them down. Uh, tactically speaking, maybe I don't want to put them both down, but normally I wouldn't know what... Normally you'd have your cards hidden, he'd have his cards hidden, so I don't know what he would have. So I might... So. If I was actually playing this, I'd probably put both kings down, but because I know what he's got, I might put one down and then expect him to bounce it back at me again, and I can put my other one down to match my king again, and I survive a bit longer. But um, I'm going to play this as if I didn't know he could do that. I'm going to put both of those down, pick up two. I've got a magic. And a nine. For all these magics, it's not bad. So he's, he's now got to be a king. Can't do that with the queen. Could burn the deck, could bounce it back on me again. So yeah, he's gonna bounce it back on me again. How many cards have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, so he needs one more. Okay, he's got a bit of rubbish there. Uh, he's still got a couple of strong cards. So, but I now have to be the king, which I can only do with one of these magic cards. I bounce the king back at him. So you see a seven is, is invisible, the eight, basically invisible so we're still trying to beat that king so he's gonna respond by bouncing the king back at me again I will again bounce the king back at him oh, how many cards we got I think I'm forgetting to pick cards up so he needs another one so we've got another magic card that's okay and I need one two three four five I need two rubbish terrible um, so his option now he can either burn the pile or reduce the pile to two. Now it's getting to be a big pile and it could be an advantage to destroy them all, get them out of the game. So 
Oh, because that's, that's the thing. That's, uh, I should have mentioned this well before. If you can't beat this pile, you have to pick it up. You have to take it, add it to your hand. And that's going to take some st some difficulty to get rid of all of this. So um, if he's worried about having to pick it up, you might think I'm going to destroy it and not have it worrying me anymore. Or we could keep it in play with the two. And maybe there's a chance we can get rid of some more weak cards. And I think Jeff's going to do that gamble. Let's pick one more up. He's got a, he's got a low card, so that's helpful. It's also good for me. I can get rid of my three. Got the king, the dread pirate Roberts. Nice. So now he's got some weak cards. Five. He's got a couple of fives. He's going to ditch his two fives. So he's helped, he has helped himself there. And he's still got the ten. So he's still always got that. So he can still always destroy this at some point if he wants to. Just picked up another five. And another magic card. So he can keep toying with me. I've got a four, so I can't get rid of that. I've got a five. At this stage, I think I should should get rid of that. Just picked up a, a, a burn card of my own, so that's good. So we're both fairly safe. <laughs> we're both comfortable now that we might we won't have to pick that up because at any point we can just destroy it. Uh, five. He's he's got a five. Ah. Okay, so he's got a five. Does that mean there are f one, two? All the fives are in the deck. All the f so that so Jeff is now he's getting rid of his five. That's the priority there. But he's now burning that. All of these are now out of the game, and they're not going to bother anyone. Um, he's got one, two, three, four, five. This, so he's got he needs one more card in his hand, and because he burnt the deck, he gets to choose what goes down next. And um, let's, get, let's get the twins together. Couple of queen cuts. So he could get rid of the six. Yeah, getting rid of the six is good because that's um, weak. Replaced it with Miracle Max. Uh, I too put down a six. And now this this is getting really low, so we're getting towards the end game. I've got another magic card, that's good news for me. Six. He will ditch his two nines. And now he's put down two, but there's only one here. So now we, we are getting to the end game. He's picked up the last six. This pile no longer exists. So now it doesn't matter that if, if he has less than seven in his hand, because you just can't you just can't have that. There, there's no more to uh, to do that. Nope. Uh, I also have a nine. I'll put my nine down. I can't pick anything up. This is this is a problem for me. This four, this four. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of this at the stage. Well, I will have to burn it at some point. He is beating the nine with Miracle Max Jack. Uh, I will use my Dreadfire Roberts King. He's got now. He's got three. Can't beat it with a queen. He can't beat it with a six. He's got to use one of his magic cards. So. Uh, Yeah, so it's either reduced the pile back to two again, which might help us both, or destroy it. If he, if he reduces it to two, she's trying to get rid of the six. Hopefully, I'll put something down that helps him get rid of that, and I will. I've got a four. I don't want the four. We'll put down the six. Now all I've got is magic cards, so I'm in a very good situation. I've got magic cards here. There's one there. Aces. I still can't touch these ones. So I still have to get rid of this uh, part of my hand. Um, so there's a six. The ten is quite valuable for destroying everything. So I'm just going to bounce the six back at him. He's going to put down these two queens. I will bounce the queens back at him. He's going to burn them all. So now we're dealing with a very small amount of cards here. Basically what's on the table. And he's ahead. Um, so you could put the two down, you could put any of these down. He's going to go with the aces to start with. You can put you know, both of those and that puts him even further ahead. I, I could put either of these down, I could destroy the aces. It doesn't really make a difference because I know he's got that two. That the two is the only thing he can play next. So 
that kind of puts an advantage sometimes when you can see that's the choices and that helps you choose what you're going to do next but here I'm kind of powerless to do anything because I know whatever I do he's going to beat my next card so I should put the 7 down, he'll put the 2 down I'll put the 10 down and all that's destroyed and then I'll put my 2 aces down which is going to make things difficult for him because now we get to these the mystery cards these clearly we don't know what's under here we don't know what's going to happen so you kind of have to pick one at random and hope it beats this and here I've got the best cards so there's a, he basically he needs another ace which he can't have because they're all in the they've all been burnt so we're hoping one of these will be a magic card so here we go the king so the king does not beat the ace so now he's got to pick these up these are all now in his hand so he now has to get rid of his hand before he can touch these again he's going to put the king down I'm going to burn the king King Vecini and now I'm in the same situation but I'm, I'm in a much better situation because there's nothing here whatever I put down is good he can easily beat that with his double aces and now I'm in a sticky situation because I need a magic card or an ace but there are no aces so which one do I want? this one and I have to pick these up but I get to put the four back now so now I have to get rid of these before I can touch that last card he's probably going to beat the four quite easily he's burnt the four and that means he wins the game Jeff wins the game Just, just out of curiosity, that was oh, that was a magic card. Great, 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 great. So there we go. Jeff won the game. Um, hope that makes it all clear. Uh, and like I say, there, there are more advanced rules that you can use as well. Um, yeah, just have a game or two. And what, normally you get halfway through one game and you understand how it works. It's, uh, it's yeah, it's really simple, really fun, and you can just kind of play it. It's a really quick one, so you can play it over and over again, or it's just something you can do really quickly within if you've got like a 10 minute break or something. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I hope you uh, learners enjoy that. Goodbye, and see you next time.